everybody hi everybody marie from marie's custom quilting here i'm here back in my shop i can't use the big floor out in my husband's martial arts school today so i'm in a tight space but that's good because it shows you what you can do when you're using a tight space and making a big quilt so i've got this um on my long arm i'm gonna switch the view around so I've got the quilt draped over my long arm frame. You could be using a kitchen table or maybe some chairs. You want a smooth surface to lay the edge of your quilt on. As I told you, I measured the length of my quilt. It's now up to 104 inches. I've measured this strip here that I'm going to be sewing on. And uh, here's what I decided to do for that little space that was not long enough i just put in little patchwork of a strip of patches uh, to make this strip as long as all the others the other thing that happened was when i went to cut my fabric i didn't have enough blue and um or i didn't have enough gray to make it three inches wide twice so i did a small strip of the blue one and a half inches i did a three and a half inch of the gray and i did a two inch of the blue and on the other side here on the table of my long arm on the back side i have set out and measured 104 inches on this edge by now after doing this edge and this one and this one my quilt is measuring square every time i flip a corner so i'm happy with that it means when i go to put it on the long arm it's going to be it's going to be nice and square and it'll be easy to to quilt so there you go that's it for today i'll show you the final borders before we start actually sewing the quilt have a good afternoon bye